Hey, this is Scott from Lake Weeders Digest, and today we're going to talk about pond aeration. Whether you have a real mucky pond, algae bloom, duckweed, or it's loaded with weeds, whatever that might look like, we have a solution for you. And today we're going to talk about one of our ways that we believe to be very effective in that process. With me, we have Bruce Wallstrom with Weeders Digest, and he's going to talk to us today about the robust air. Bruce? Yeah. So one of the things that... Um that we, we've got a lot of different solutions, as Scott had mentioned. And it happens to be on the lake that I live on. It's a 38-acre uh, lake, and we aerate the entire lake. So if you live on a small pond, whatever you might call small, or up to a lake that size or even larger, aeration can actually be a solution for you. And when we talk about aeration, there are really a lot of, a, a lot of options. Some that you might not think about, wind actually aerates a lake because it causes it to turn over. And when we say aerate, that's really the key is it's causing the water through the use of bubbles to cause the lake itself to turn over. So other ways that you can aerate is even, even a rainstorm, like we happen to be on a day today that there's a rainstorm happening. That actually will cause aeration, probably not enough to solve um, you know, a muck issue, certainly not enough to, to solve um, a weed issue. And another thing that people uh, experience is the smell of a, of a lake that is decaying and rotting. So we're trying to speed up that process. Another method, and we help a lot of people with fountains, of course, and fountains are another way to aerate. But when, I don't know how you say this, Scott, but I typically, when somebody wants to buy a fountain for the purpose of aeration, I'll usually say, and I don't know if this number will match yours, but I'll say you'll get about 20% of the benefit will be aerating, but 80% of it is just for beauty. Yeah, decorative. Right. And we love selling decorative fountains. Yeah. We sell, I think we sell as many as anybody across the country. So we don't mind selling you a fountain to do a little bit of aerating. But if we get to the point where we're trying to get to today is where we want to talk about diffused aeration, um, which is using a compressor like this, which I'm, I'm not gonna open it in this video, but inside of that is a compressor that drives air through a weighted tube that's gonna lay on the bottom. So on my lake, we actually have 9,000 feet of hose that's laying on the bottom that goes out to individual diffusers. And so this, there's more to this base that, that keeps it to the bottom, but this diffused air um, comes through these these holes that are just within this framework. And when we do that, it causes the entire pond to actually turn over. Mm. We'd love to talk to you more about this probably over the phone or shoot us an email about how aer aeration works or watch some of our other videos. But we're getting more dissolved oxygen into the lake by doing that. Uh, again, it's, it's not about putting air into the lake, it's putting a small bubble deep into the water mm. And as that bubble comes up, the bubble gets bigger and bigger, but it actually causes the whole lake to rotate over. Can I interject? Yeah. Um, when I hear you talk about that, I think what I picture is, it's like you're saying that your body of water is like a fish aquarium in a way. Right. But we're dealing with larger proportionate numbers, of course, of water content and those bubbles. Right. But I see exactly what you're saying, and it's almost as if we're talking about some of the same qualities that would help keep a fish tank clean. Right. Is that pretty close to yeah, but the when, case? When you had an aquarium like I did growing up, yeah. um, and it's like I, I killed all my goldfish. I don't know about <laughs> you, but but those little bubbles, I thought it was to give them air, and it really wasn't. It's to keep the water moving. Ah. If, if you had a blower in there, or you had right. one of our aqua thrusters right. <laughs> inside that aquarium, yeah. I mean, you could get things flowing, and sure. that actually is a form of aeration. But Ooh. this is the most efficient way to get it done is with bubbles that causes it to come up. The benefits are dissolved, uh, increased dissolved oxygen, muck reduction. By the way, uh, I want to make sure I interject at this point that we, our muck digester pellets and some of our other mm -hmm. beneficial bacteria, um, this is kind of like putting them on steroids. So in yeah. other words, it's just that oxygen uh, and that, that aeration is huge. Do those um, need any kind of permit at all, uh, these no, pellets? No, oh, great. No. And, okay. you know, incidentally, on a pond, you don't need uh, a permit. Right. Um, some states may say that if you're going to put a powered device in a body of water, you might need to have a permit. But what's interesting is with aeration, this is the only power source, and it's up, away, and out of 
the water. Very good. And so everything else is non-motorized, non-electrical, non-powered. And so for that reason, usually uh, a permit is not required. Oh, very good. And that's another thing that is a great advantage of aeration is that very expensive to drive power all the way, you know, say a half mile to get to get power to a, a pond. You'd never do that. But with this, you can actually push air, you know, up to a mile through a pipe, PVC pipe. I mean, yeah. so cheap pipe. Real simple. And try to get it down to the pond and make that happen. You can reduce uh, fish kills. Um, you can reduce the thermocline, which really probably we've got, uh, don't have enough time to get all the way into sure. the science of that. Um, and you can have a better environment for growing the right type of vegetation mm. as well as growing fish. So really what you're saying is this machine, this system, better stated, is a real excellent top to bottom type of right. system right. to really work your full column of water. Yep. And at an efficient, I mean, this is, here's where it's going to sound like the sales pitch. It's very efficient, it's very affordable, and it's very simple to install. Hmm. So with that, you know, I, I think one of the best things you could do, um, visit us at weedersdigest.com. Um, give us a call. Uh, our phone number is 877-224-4899. Let us uh, prescribe for you exactly what kind of a system you need. And the reason why I say prescribe is because once we understand the, what first off, what your goal is of aeration, secondly, what the size is, what the depth is, and we, we can help you out with some ways to measure that even using Google Earth, then we can determine exactly what you need to solve those issues that we just talked about. And I think you'll be very satisfied.